Hey there, welcome to Web10 Guide. And today we are diving into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence and WordPress to bring you an exciting tutorial that will supercharge your website. Today we are going to show you how to add the incredible chat GPT AI chatbot to your WordPress website, making your online presence truly intuitive and interactive. Introducing ChatGPT, your new AI sidekick. ChatGPT is also designed to engage with your website visitors in the natural and conversation manner. Are you worried about complicated setups? Fear not. We've got you covered. We'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to seamlessly integrate ChatGPT into your WordPress website without the need for any coding experience. You can also customize your ChatGPT to match your website styles and tool. You can give it a unique name, choose its appearance, and even tailor its responses to suit your brand's personality. So, are you ready to skyrocket your website potential with ChatGPT AI chatbot? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any of our exciting tutorials. The first step is to navigate to your WordPress dashboard. Um, you will need to do this so that you can access your website back end and you can add the chat GPT plugin. And the second step is to install the chat GPT plugin. All right, so to do this, go to your plugin, click on add new, and search for chat GPT. So there are basically two chat GPT plugins that you can use. Uh, we have the AI engine and we have the AI power. Um, in this tutorial, I will be making use of this AI power. Um, this AI engine also works like AI power, but AI engine is more complicated and more complex. AI power just keeps it simple and I will make videos on AI engine later. So um, go to the AI power and install, click on install now and pick activate. So um, we don't need this, just keep this. So once you have installed it and you get this feed, welcome to AI Power, what would you like to do? You can either choose any of these ones, um, either you want to add that GPT to a page on your website, or you want it to create a blog post for you, or you want it to optimize your WooCommerce product, or to automate your content creation, or to generate images, or to create AI form, or you want it to become your AI assistant, or you want it to convert um, audio, I'm um, sorry, text to audio, um, or you can just select um, anything that you want to do. But for me, I'll just go with the manual setup. So uh, click on the manual setup. The step is to generate API key. So to do this, go to uh, your open AI accounts, AI.com, and log in. Then click API. After clicking API, um, click here and click View APIs. And then click on Create a new secret key. So let me just write tests and um, create secret key. Now note that this key um, is actually confidential. And don't, do not allow anybody to make use of this key. And for me, I'll be deleting this key right after this tutorial, so nobody will be able to use this. Um, and copy this, make sure you copy it, because you won't be able to review it again. So click copy, and then click on done. So navigate back to your dashboard, and click on AI engine, and paste your key here. After pasting your key here, click on save. So once you have saved this, we get record successfully updated. And uh, we will get this page, this web page, where it displays some few tutorials that you can just go through for you to understand what this is for and how to use it. Okay, um, for the sake of this video, I will, I will just skip all this. So the next thing we are going to do is to navigate to this chat GPT right here. And uh, if you notice that it has um, a lot of other features right here. Um, let me close this. Um, actually, you can see um, this. This is actually if you want to add the chat GPT um, to any page of your website, just use this um, short code. 
but um, I'm not going to talk about that in this video. Um, so navigate to the widget. So I'm talking about the chat bot that um, any visitors can just click on it. Immediately they access your website. So um, these are the settings because I have installed that GPT on this website before this tutorial. My settings are still there. So what I'm just going to do is that I'll just put you through how to set it up. So this enable widget, uh, if you installed your own for the first time, you get a no. But so just click um, yes, change it to yes. So what this means is that it will enable um, the chat or the widget. So then click on no so that you can see what it's about. <laughs> and then you open the website. So if you check this um, corner here, you won't find any um, chatbot icon, but if you change it to yes, uh, you're going to find a, the chatbot icon here. So um, enable widget yes, and um, you'll be asked to select your language, tone, and what you want it to act as. Uh, let me save this first. All right, so I've gotten the widget right here. So um, I will be checking what I'm editing, like to this, it will be displaying right on this space. Any changes I wanted to make on it, it, it will be displaying right here. So uh, the language, like you can change the language uh, to any language that you want. And also you can change the tone, you want it to be sarcastic or cheerful um, or professional. So let me just go with it friendly. And what you want it to act as, it depends on what your website is about. If you want it to act as an accountant, architect, artist, a blogger, business owner, um, for me, I'll just choose the website development um, agency here yeah, because that is what this website is about. It's a website development agency website. And then this time, okay. So you can choose the icon um, or you can use a custom icon. If you want to choose a custom icon, just click on the icon that you're going to see here and um, just choose any icon that you like. So for me, um, I would like to choose my picture or let me just choose my logo. Okay, let me just choose this. And also you can change your width, your, your width and the height. If you want it to be in full width, you can just change it to 100%. But um, I won't do that because this is a chart board. So you have to keep it as small as possible just to display at the side corner of your screen. Um, so then just change it to um, 350 pixels. Yeah, I think we are good to go. Then the font color, the background color. Now let me change the background color to match my website colors. So um, let me just change this background color. So you can see right here, and let me change the font. Oh, no, um, I don't need that one. Okay, let me change the font color to, and you see, let me change a white will be good. And this um, user background color. So let me change it. And this AI background color also. So I think white um, works well for this. And the height of this text field for me is a little bit much. Let me reduce the height to like 30 pixels. No, um, 40. I think 40 is quite okay. Can also add in the radius. Can edit the text field background color and the avatar. You can also change the avatar. So let me, you know, let me just leave my picture here. Yeah, but if you want to change, just click on the picture and select any icon, or you can use the default icon. And the position, do you want it to be at the left side of your screen or at the right side of your screen? For me, I already have uh, the WhatsApp icon here, so I'll just go with the right side of my screen. So what else? Uh, these parameters. Oh, we don't need to make any changes on this. And this moderation is actually pro feature. And this voice chat. If you want um, text to speech also, but you do need that. This is just a chat bot. Um, then a custom text. So the AI name, let me just use uh, Victor AI. 
then for the user and you okay ai thinking uh, let me just write typing i think we write victor typing okay um then the welcome message writes anyone here hello welcome to our website how can i help you so then the full time notes okay let me write powered by web tech guide let me check the context so if you want to add an additional context to your chatbot if you want to add a prompt that you wanted to follow when um, the chatbot is responding to your users or to your website guest you can also check a template here maybe sales template product support social media support um so i don't need an additional context like this uh, if you wanted to remember your conversation so click on yes then conversion up to okay And I think that's all. So click on save and I'll just check how it's going to look on our website. Okay, so let me refresh this page. So you can see the logo right here. So let me click on it. And let me write I. You can see it with the type in. Um, let me ask a question. Um, what or which services do you offer? So let me see the response. So you can see at the end of the GitHub, like it's explained everything, every of the services. And if you notice, this is actually generating from here. And one thing about this AI is that it will scrape your website, it will study your website, and it will respond to your guests, to your users based on the content of your website so if you notice all these these are what i have in my services and also in the services section i have everything there so uh, let me ask another question um do you work with planets globally so let me wait for the answer So you see, um, this chatbot will answer any question that anybody is asking. So I think this is a very amazing feature for a website that you need to add. Either you're working on your website or you are working for your current website. This is a feature that you need to add so that it will help user interaction on your website. So if this video has helped you, um, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more amazing videos like this. Thank you.